Hello, Tyler B. Cool Gaming Tutorials fans. This is a gaming tutorial put out for a four digit combination lock in Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. And uh, we're going to start pretty quick here. And we're going to be moving fast, so um, keep up if you can. We're going to put an interface there, it's four blocks by four blocks, a square. Put buttons on that side and put torches on the other side. Put a block on each side of that with a bit of redstone on there. And uh, put four repeaters following that. Make sure they're all powered. And um, we're going to put an optional bit here. This is for um, note blocks that we're actually going to have a little bit of sound. Nice touch there. And um, if you don't want the note blocks, then you just don't have to dig the extra trench. You can just follow the two trench the trench after this. And uh, as long as you have four trenches, you're good. So um, we're going to just have this demonstration be put out with the note blocks. But I'm just going to demonstrate real quick how it would look like if you wanted to skip out on the note blocks here. So... You're just going to dig out four trenches like this. There's three, and there's four. Okay, put repeaters on there, excluding the last bit there. And um, we're just going to fill this in because we want to put our note blocks in for this. And um, dig that out there. So now we are going to put our decoder lines in. And we're going to do that by digging those out and then placing wool in between all the repeaters. And... Yeah, we just have to go to the end of the line of the repeaters. I go a little bit far on the first couple, but just as long as all the repeaters get powered, and you, th those are optional, so you can take those out. And uh, you just put repeaters, I mean, um, redstone torches on every single wool block there. It's that simple. And um, to figure out your combination, you just press the buttons and determine which torch turns on and off, and you will put in your break the torch of the number of your combination as accordingly to the way you press your button. So um, one would be the first line and break the first torch. So pretty much what you have to do is you have to put a block underneath the torch that you broke. Put repeat, put redstone dust on the bottom of that torch, excuse me, and um, pretty much that's what you have to do. You just have to dig out and go under there. You know, it's it's a pain in the butt really. And um, go through that, Oop. and one out. That's just how the way I like to space these. You can space it any way you want to. And there we go. And now our decoder is finished. So let's start on our snow latches. Three blocks, skip one, two blocks, three blocks, and two blocks. Alternating path right there. Okay, so we're going to put repeaters on the short ones, put torches on all the ends of the lines there and now we're just going to start on our snow latch so two up there in front of the wool blocks there one short one in the back break the bottom ones and uh, I'm just going to put redstone uh, all the way down these lines and uh, we're going to put torches on the end of the, all of these blocks we're going to put torches on the end of these blocks put repeaters under here and we're going to put redstone on the back of these. And uh, now we have to put our AND gates in. We're going to do that by put, placing three blocks like that, putting redstone on top, or yeah, putting redstone on top, and then placing our torches in the middle. And then we're going to dig one block down until the block before our torch on every line. And then we're going to place some redstone in front of the torch, and on the last block that you dig up, you have to put a repeater there before your torch. Super simple, really. You put a bit of redstone in uh, beside of all your inverting torches there and uh, put a block on top of all the crosses that make connections that you don't want. And that is your arsenal latch done. And that is your input for anything that can be run through redstone. We're going to be using an example of a piston and uh, we're gonna go to how how to put our reset lines in. So pretty much what you have to do is place a block on top of the torch, break that, and make a line go all the way out to the end of this line, the end of the decoder. And then you do that for every line here, skipping the ones that don't have decoders on them. 
So you go through here, and that, go on duck. And then you place repeaters, and uh, fill in the S the rest in, with an in with redstone. And you want to put repeaters on top of the blocks that have your inverting torches in, so you don't get any um, cross connections there. And uh, you want to fill these in with redstone dust, except for the, these two here that I'm about to break for you. And there we go. You want to skip those two and fill the rest in with redstone. There you go. And like that. You're going to put a block there to invert the signal. Put a torch on the outside. I like to place redstone on top of these blocks just for safety because they never fail. And put torches at the end of these blocks. And that is your reset lines done. So we're just going to take out this extension line that's going to run our piston or any other thing that could be run by redstone. Any piston doors, any iron doors, anything. And uh, we're just going to put in a reset button here. This is completely optional. But what you do is you come out, go up, put repeaters on the end of the lines here, and fill the rest with redstone. And you put a button on the end of the block there just to power all the reset lines. Okay? So you put a piston or anything powered by redstone at the end of that line. And I'm just going to make sure the connection can reach the piston. And uh, what do you know? It's one block short. So there we go. Um, okay, so now we're going to put in our code, and as you see, we hit the first button, and the first torch turns on. And you hit the second button, the first torch turns on, and the second torch turns on. This is done by our um, line, our signal going through the reset lines and resetting the our snow latches. And um, when the code's down, the code's on, the piston is down and when the code's off the piston is up and as you can see I'm bashing in random numbers to see if I can crack the code and as long as you hit the, hit the interface faster than the buttons pull out you're going to hit the reset lines on all the other things so you cannot crack this code it's pretty secure but it's infinitely expandable so it's not the most secure okay so we're just gonna hit our code in slowly here and um, as you can see I didn't wait long enough and there we go got it Okay, and that is my four, bu four button combination lock in Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Um, thank you for watching.